video blog. Oh my god. All right. This one talking about songwriting. This is like a pretty personal topic for me because it's actually something I struggled with for a long time, which sucks because you, if as a musician, you have to fucking make songs, and if you can't do it, you feel like a piece of shit. So um, this is something I got over and um, learned to write not only better songs but write more. Um, so I feel like I have something to share. So one key thing is that creating something is better than creating nothing. It's easy to write songs and not think they're as good as other bands or to just say, well, this isn't as good as what I really want to create. But writing songs is better than writing nothing at all. I mean, if you want to be in a band, you have to, eventually you have to make something. Um, not only is it better to make songs just for your own like practice and development, um, but if you're not putting, if you're not creating anything, like you might as well just quit. I mean, you're not putting anything out there for people to consume and to listen to and enjoy. Um, beyond that, people will probably like your songs a lot more than you think. I mean, it's really easy to get self-critical and you're your worst critic. Um, but people will probably like your songs a lot more than you will. Um, one thing I heard, shout out to Ben Keeney, is uh, if you pick, pick your favorite band. Um, is every song they've ever written the best song ever? No, like even your favorite band probably has songs that you don't like or you think are just okay. So not every song you make either is going to be like the greatest song ever, but I, you know, when we tend to write songs, we usually uh, compare to like that one awesome song that we're listening to lately, like the hit, but we don't remember that that's one track on a 15, al 15 song album and the other 14 songs suck or are just okay. So that track of comparison is really toxic. Don't do it. Right now, something that helps me get over kind of the constant like writer's block is I have a 30 minute daily habit of songwriting. Um, there's a few reasons why this has totally transformed the way I write songs and made it so much easier. So the first reason is that I used to write for like two or three hours and I'd have this like long chunk of the day and that would be my songwriting time. Okay, first problem with that it's hard to find two to three consecutive uninterrupted hours, especially if you're in school or you work, and I've done both at the same time. It's hard to find two or three uninterrupted hours where you can totally focus, okay? Super intimidating, and if you can't find it, you'll often be like, okay, well, I guess I won't song do any songwriting at all, because you feel like you need that two to three hours. I'm telling you, you actually don't. Alternatively, 30 minutes is like super manageable. It's really small, and it's not very intimidating. So we can all pretty, pretty much find like 30 minutes that's not going to be fucked with. Another reason to do this is that you always come back fresh and inspired. 30 minutes, it's like just enough to like do something, to like put something on paper, and then you have to walk away from it after the 30 minutes. Um, so then when you return, like the next day for me, um, you've had that time to like process what you've written and to kind of come back to it with a fresh perspective. So you're not just getting stuck in the quicksand of the song you're writing. You kind of get like this bigger picture perspective on what the song should sound like. So then when you come back, you know how to fix that riff that you were just stuck on the next day. So there's often gonna be low hanging fruit the next day, um, and that'll just like boost your confidence because you'll show up to the you'll show up to like start writing music and you'll be like, oh, I remember I want to fix that riff from the next day. Um, because it's 30 minutes, you'll write just a little bit, and usually what I notice is that I'll Write like I'll finish an idea and just barely start the next one, and I'll just get enough down to get excited about it. And then when I come back the next day, not only am I fresh and inspired, but practically like the task I have right there, I know exactly what I need to do. Um, so that low-hanging fruit is super helpful for actually getting stuff done, for getting progress, for being productive with your songwriting. And then another thing is that 30 minutes is short enough that you basically have to do something. If you have like a three-hour songwriting session. It's easy to like say, well, I'm gonna fuck off for 10 or 15 minutes. But if you have 30, if you only have 30 minutes, you pretty much have to use the entire 30 minutes. And I think in some cases, the intensity of that, plus the fact that you're not taking like breaks, or you're not, your mind's not wandering, you're not fucking around on Facebook and shit, you're actually gonna be more productive. So I think that's another thing. It's like considering like sprinting versus like running a marathon. That sprint is gonna be like more intense because. It's just a short, focused amount of time. If you do want to up the ante with this and actually try to write more, maybe do this two or three times a day. I do recommend you take about an hour break in between each songwriting session. Again, that'll just uh, give you that like fresh perspective so that you come back and you're not wasting time like sitting there like, oh, what should this sound like? 
somehow if you just walk away, your subconscious is going to like write the song for you. Not to get like too woo-woo, but I tend to believe that the song is already written like inside you, and as a songwriter, you have to, it's more like being a sculptor, you have to like kind of dig it out. Uh, you have to like clear away all the bullshit. It's like meditation. You kind of have to clear away all the bullshit and let it kind of come out of you. I think taking a step back, not getting, not letting yourself get frustrated and kind of stuck in the quicksand of the song, that helps you write more and write faster in the long term. And by the long term, I mean like a week to a month. And my last piece of practical advice here is I recommend you do this earlier in the day. Um, as the day goes on, more and more people will fuck with you. They'll interrupt you and they'll either like actually interrupt you, like they'll call you or, or come talk to you or they'll need something from you that will require your effort, your attention, your um, require activity and action from you. But moreover, as people like fuck with you, you're going to be less like focused, you're going to be more distracted with thoughts, thinking about work, school, whatever. And um, like I was saying a second ago, like that mental baggage, that mental debris, you need to clear that out, in my opinion, to get the song really out there and get it on paper. Um, so I recommend starting earlier in the day, as early as possible. For me, it's usually like 10 a.m. Um, usually get up, have some other morning practice stuff that I do, and then I start writing. But if you can't do that, like if you have like a morning job or something that gets you up really early, don't make that an excuse. Get it done however you can. If you're going to do it later in the day, one, I guess, tip I have to get more focused is, I don't know, try meditating or anything that kind of like clears your mind. Um, but one thing for sure, turn your phone off. Uh, turn the internet off if you don't need it to actually write your songs. You probably shouldn't. Um, but don't let anyone distract you. If you live at home or if you live with other people, communicate to them that you need 30 minutes for them to not fuck with you. I think most people who you have in your life will respect that. And again, that's why 30 minutes is so awesome. You can usually check out of your life for 30 minutes and there's not going to be any tragedies. Three hours if someone's calling you, maybe your boss or something like a friend or your girlfriend. If you don't get, them, get back to them in three hours, that can be bad. 30 minutes, people usually won't notice. All right, this video is done. I'm going to stop there. Uh, just some practical tips for songwriting. I have some other like more abstract like mindset stuff that uh, has helped me like philosophically write music. Maybe I'll write another video or record another video about that if anyone wants it. Uh, but this is all practical stuff. Again, songwriting is super important, so you got to work on it. Okay? Um, we're done. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.